Hey everybody, Snigby here from Snoopy Gaming, getting ready to upgrade my oil from basic oil processing to advanced oil processing. So, if you've been following along, you know that um, I'm basically using the Nilos um, uh, method here. I've got his blueprints from his. Um, uh, oh, I put it in my inventory, didn't I? I've got his blueprints from his master class, and basically what I want to do here is move from the basics, which is what I have here, which is what I, I ran here, and I want to move up to the, uh, the next one, which is the uh, advanced oil processing. Um, still waiting on a little bit. What, why don't I... Why can't I do... What is that last one here? Uh, that's lubricants. So, uh, lubricant is here. So let's go ahead and move that up a little bit. Yeah, we'll move lubricant up so we can go ahead and do that. But basically, what we what we're going to do here is we've actually upgraded our uh, processing from basic processing, which took. Uh, if I go ahead and put this back, um, it was taking 200 crude oil in. And putting out 100 crude oil out, or 45 per going uh, gas out for, for uh, 100 crude oil in. So not really efficient there. Um, when we did the upgrade, we're actually going to uh, still take in the uh, the same amount of crude oil, but so you get 100 crude oil in plus 50 water, and now what you get is 55 petroleum, 45 light oil, and 25 heavy oil. And then from there, you're actually going to make this and, and move it one step further because you also get this heavy oil and light oil. Well, we can take that heavy oil and that light oil and using some of our chemical plants, if I can find them here. Uh, chemical plants, I know I picked some up. I think I picked some up. I didn't pick up any chemical plants. So I craft them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have them on the bus or on the in the mall. We'll just go ahead and well, we'll just go ahead and handcraft them here. Okay, so what we're doing here is, if you remember, I actually prepared for this because I went ahead and set a offshore pump up here so I could get some water. And that's going to be important because I do need to get the water pulled down into here. And we'll see where the water goes in. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put a couple of pipes here, here. Now right now, you'll notice that I'm not producing anything because I don't have any anywhere for all the other uh, components to go. That's not going to connect up anymore. Oh, it does. Okay. Got to do this a little bit differently here. Leave us a little bit of room here. There we go. And you'll notice once I've added water to the finished up the uh, um, the recipe. And now it's moving along just fine. I'll go ahead and put that there just because we're going to need it again later on down the road. Um, also, we need to have some way to get all these different products out. So that's where we're coming here. Um, and then that to go like so. Anywhere else? No, now it's a matter of piping these in. Let's get those chemical plants out. I wanted the chemical. 
go play it, not do all the flying. And these two are lubricant. Alrighty. Let's put some of these pipes down. that work? Stamp it down again. When in doubt, we're using a blueprint, go ahead and just stamp it down again. And it will do its thing. Okay, so that is an underground. Still just following the blueprint. And we'll talk about what this does here in just a second once I get it built out. Anything else up here? No. Uh, that is straight pipe. Now why do I have There we go. Alright, I wasn't crazy. And that goes there. Alrighty. Now I see where I was going. Okay, pumpy, pumpy, pumpy. Where's my pump? I know I've got pumps. Why can't I see my pump? There it is. Pump, pump, oh, that's the pump's going that way. I have this pump placed in the right way, no. There we go.
All right, how does this look now? Okay, so let's let's talk about what's going on here. So I have my crude oil and my water coming in. It goes into the oil refinery for advanced processing. And as you can see, the advanced processing, it, will, it takes crude oil and converts it into heavy oil, light oil, and petroleum gas. Now right now it looks like I'm backing up on petroleum or on the uh, light oil. That's why no, nothing is running right now. Once I get some, some storage in here and start using it, it'll, it'll open back up again. Um, so all of that's being pumped out and we have those three different products coming out. So the the first product here, which is the um, the heavy oil, I'm sorry, but, yeah, the heavy oil. Heavy oil is being pumped out and pumped into here, which is uh, basically lubricant. And so it takes the heavy oil and converts it into lubricant. Once the lubricant is going out here, I've got a pump here that's actually pressurizing this and, and uh, working on that. So let me put this down one more time to make sure that all of the all the cables and everything are, are going. Um, so this pump will be active as long as there is more uh, enabled if it's greater than uh, 5,000 uh, lubricant. Now, I do need to come over here and set these up because without having these set up, I've got nowhere for this to go. There we go. Oh, I'm missing a couple of other pipes as well. I'm missing another pump. I found this pump right there. And I'm missing a few more. pipes here as well. Is that the way I want it to do? I don't think so. That's what I'm trying to do here. Oh, come up now. I'm seeing where we're going. Pop that down one more time, make sure we're, we're good. Okay. All right. So let's talk about what's going on here. Advanced oil processing. We're getting out three different products. Heavy oil, light oil, and petroleum gas. Petroleum gas is what we're going to be using the most of, so that's what we're going to focus on. The petroleum gas automatically goes out 
and goes into our storage here for petroleum gas. Next we have lubricant. Lubricant is used on a couple of things and we want to go ahead and keep that going. So we first off we'll take all of our heavy oil and we'll put, put it in here and we'll convert the heavy oil into lubricant. Now lubricant will, this will uh, stay running and it'll actually fill the lubricant up over here until we get 5,000 gallons of fluid in the storage tanks. Once we have more than um, or more than 5,000 gallons, this pump comes on and this pump will then start pumping uh, the heavy oil into here where we're actually converting that heavy oil and a little bit of water into um, light oil. We then take the light oil and we pump it out along with the light oil that's coming out from here um, and convert the light oil and a little bit of water into petroleum gas. So all this works together to basically convert everything to a little bit of the side products, the uh, lubricant and the, uh, um, the light oil, and then everything else is going to be converted into um, petroleum gas, which we use uh, the majority of as we go through uh, the process. Now I don't need that. Um, I actually don't need those. They're markers for reasons. Uh, but we're not going to be uh, uh, building anything else up here. Uh, but now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and get these uh, uh, these other products onto my bus uh, so that when I do need to need them, uh, they are available for me to use um, as necessary. Uh, let's do that here. We'll take this one and go there. And basically we're just going to uh, take these and move them just like a so. And I believe this will work. Yep. Now I do believe that down here I'm going to run into some issues. But I don't think it's going to be a, a huge issue because I'll just work around it. Uh, pump again. We want to have a couple more pumps here. I'll go ahead and get that big old light pole, telephone pole there. And we will continue on our merry way. And looky here, I am right next to my mall. As almost as if I'd planned that, huh? I really hadn't. Well, one. Don't need quite that many undergroundies, but we'll take a, a good, good amount of them. Lubricant and uh, heavy oil are on the bus, and I'll be able to use them whenever I get to that point. Um, I can got some water coming up here, right where that is. Let's go ahead and move the water up one. I think I can afford to do that.
Actually, I want. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pick these up because they got they got fluid in them. But it's water, no big deal. And by doing that, there we go. And just like that, we have our um, oil on there. Now I do want to do one more thing here. Um, I should pick up a couple of chemical plants but I'll just make them. Make them. Since I have plenty of materials here. I did want to extend this one more uh, machine out here just to uh, have things ready to go. Pipe. Get us a little more coal coming down. A couple more of these red handed inserters, and we're good to go. Okay, so I've got my, my plastic here. A little bit of sulfur going here. Um, as you can see, these two sulfur machines right now are doing pretty good to keep all my sulfur needs met. Um, and I think, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead. I don't believe if we got to the point where I can do blue belts. Nope, I'm still on the red. Um, I don't have the advanced, uh, automation machines. Nope, I don't have those either. However, I did get the centrifuge and all of those things, so that's going to be down here. So, offline, I'm going to go ahead and plop the, uh, blueprint down again, uh, get that going. Um, I also went ahead and, and, uh, with the, uh, Catherine of Sky Blueprints. I may have a few extra machines down here uh, ready to do some things on nuclear. Got to figure out where that is. Um, okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish building out this uh, mall section here. And uh, uh, the next thing I think we're going to do is work on batteries and blue circuits. We also have um, robot frames and some stone brick. So we've got lots of stuff that we need to get in here. Um, it's getting kind of tight on the bus, so we'll figure out that uh, when, it, when the time comes. Uh, once we do, I'll come back with you and give you an update uh, on, on what's going on here. So with that, everybody, this is Sneaky signing out. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little uh, uh, content here. I did uh, set up a little array to make uh, a bit of landfill. Let's go ahead and make another, another row of landfill here just for grins. I also set up a, a set of junk drawers up here. I had a bunch of uh, wooden chests uh, ready to go. And basically anything that I'm not actually working on, I have those trains. Uh, I don't need those right now. We've got that going here. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, uh, get this uploaded. And with that being said, everybody, this is Sneaky signing out. Have a great day. Goodbye.